Okay, Deepak, this is for you. We are going to find the total number of words by using five letters from the word examination. Yes, this is the redo because in the previous video, I made a mistake. So this is you know, going to be make up for it. Especially last time, I did not see the N and N. They were being repeated. So anyway, all right, let's get started. This is the style of doing these kind of questions. Look at this right here and pick up all the letters that have been repeated. So as we can see, we have the A and A being repeated. So let me just put this down right here. Let me just write down A, A. And then we have the I and I being repeated. So let's put that down right here as well. And then we have the N, which is right here, okay? This N and that N, they were being repeated. So I will put down the N, -N right here. And then let's write down rest, which is E, X, M, T, O, like that. So, if you look at this word, examination, which has a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 letters. But technically, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 different letters. And in order for us to construct a word that's only 5 letters from here, we have to consider cases. So, here we go. And let me actually just write this down for you guys first. We are going to have 5 slots right here. Anyway, here we go. Case 1. Suppose all the letters that you pick from here, they are all different. That's case 1. So let me just write it down right here for you guys. They are all different. In this case, you have to consider this as just one. Right? This is just one letter. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 different letters. And all we have to do is 8 choose 5. And after you have whatever five letters that you have, you're going to put them here, and you're going to arrange them. So you have to multiply by five factorial, because this right here tells you the number of ways to arrange five things out of, uh, well, just five things right on the, on the line like this. So that's case one, which is the easy case. Now, case two. Well, maybe the words that you have right here, you have the AA. Or maybe you have the II, or maybe you have the LN. Maybe you just have one of these three pairs, right? I'll just call them to be the pairs. So let me just consider, maybe you end up with one pair of the words being repeated, right? Maybe AA, or maybe IN, or maybe LN. Which one though? Well, in this case, we can just choose three. Well, we can just choose one out of the three, right? So we just do three, choose one. And suppose, we pick AA, right? So we have AA somewhere right here. Well, when you say you want to choose AA, be sure you do two choose two because you are going to pick both of the letters. You have the AA already. That means we have to have three more. Okay, so for the rest, in fact, maybe I can choose an I and an N. That's possible, right? So this is an, a letter. This is, this is a letter. This is also a letter, of course. So for the rest, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have a 7 different letters. And we are going to select 3 out of them. Right? So when you do this, this is only going to give you either 1 N or 1 I. Not both N, not both I. Right? So that's pretty much the idea. So we, I think we should multiply by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, choose 3. And now when you do this, you have 5 letters, but 2 of them are being repeated. When you put it right here, you have to make sure you multiply by 5 factorial, but divide it by 2 factorial, because 2 of them are being repeated. Right? Because, let's say II, it's the same as II. Right? They do the same. Anyway, continue with case 3. This is the case that you pick maybe two out of these three pairs. Maybe you have AA, II, or maybe you have II, NN, hold that. So right here, let's just write down when we have two pairs, and then we have one more letter left. Well, which two pairs? Of course, we have three. Three pairs, choose two, like this. Suppose we do choose AA and II, so that means from AA, I need to get two of them, and then from I, I, and to get both of them as well. 
If you're okay, you don't really need to multiply this, but I just want to emphasize, we'll end up with five letters from here, and later on, we also end up with five letters from here. This is one, this is one anyway, so don't really worry too much. All right, continue. Suppose we do have A and I, I, and now, how many different letters do we have left? Yes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to choose. We have to do six. Choose one. So maybe we have A A I I N. Maybe we have A A I I O and all that stuff. So that's pretty much it. But this time we have the A A and I I being repeated. So what you do is multiply by five factorial, divided by two factorial for the first pair, and then another two factorial for the second pair. Of course, this is not the same as four factorial, so we've already done twice like that. That's it, because you cannot have three pairs, because once you pick three pairs, you have a total of six letters already. That's not what we want. And that's it, seriously. So I hope I don't make any more mistakes. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Case one and case two and case three, they are mutually exclusive in the sense that you have to just add them up. And in the end, perhaps I'll just box this for you guys. And then you guys can um, you know, tell me what the answer in the comment section. Yeah, because I think this right here tells you a lot more than just the numerical value for the answer. So that's it. If you leave a comment down below, and if, uh, for this right here, if it's right, I'll pin you. So that's the deal. Hopefully you guys all like this video. If you do, please give me a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much. And as always, that's it.